Namaste. Hi there, it's me, Stacy Lee, and of course I'm here with Miss Foxy Brown. Welcome to yoga and thank you for joining me. In today's class, we'll be using a mantra to remind ourselves of our own personal power. Our postures will begin on the ground and then move up and back down to the ground again. So you'll use your own personal power to move through various postures and remind yourself that yes, you can. For today's class, you'll need a mat or a carpet because we'll be down on the ground. I'd suggest a block, but you'll only need it for one of our postures. So a thick sofa cushion or a book will do just fine. And also, I would suggest a small hand towel to pad your knees while we're on the ground. This is also optional. If you're ready to get started, please split your legs just like this. Place your front hand onto your front thigh and lower down to the ground with me. Ready? Once you've arrived down on the ground, crisscross your legs and come to what's called an easy seat. Now, if you prefer to sit on a block or a cushion, please feel free to scoot that block underneath your seat. That will elevate you a little bit higher off the ground if that's what you prefer. Once you've arrived and you're comfortably seated on the floor, bring your hands together in the prayer mudra. This is called Namaskar. And press your thumbs into your heart. Widen your elbows and your shoulders, lengthen your neck and lengthen your entire spine. Inhale and draw your air up your spine. Exhale, release your air back down. Continue with these long deep breaths, inhaling and extending your exhales. Our mantra today is, I remember and commit to my personal power. I remember and commit to my personal power. Inhale and stretch your arms up over your head. Exhale, draw your hands back down. Inhale, reach up and stretch your arms. Exhale. Inhale, reach up and feel the skin stretch along your rib cage from your fingertip all the way down to your hip. One more time. Inhale, reach up and now separate your hands. Place your right hand down by your side next to you and stretch over to the right side. Anchor your left hip to make sure that your butt cheek stays on the floor. Now cartwheel your arms up and over to the other side and stretch towards your left. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, stretch side. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, stretch side. Two more times. Up and over. Last one. Up and over. <sighs> Both arms up, please. Sweep your arms wide open and bring your fingertips down to the ground next to you. And then reach back behind you. Draw your shoulders back. Lift your chest. Feel your shoulder blades squeezing together. Take a deep breath in and a long exhale. I remember and commit to my personal power. Now soften from this position. Lengthen once again. And with this newfound length, reach across your body with your left hand. Twist your shoulders to the right. Inhale. And as you exhale, twist just a little bit deeper. Remember, it doesn't have to hurt to work, but I want you to find your edge, which feels just slightly outside your comfort zone. Now, before removing your left hand, please soften the muscles in your spine and then release your hand. We want to be careful that we don't come out of our twist like this. Ping, 
and hurt ourselves. Being gentle as we untwist our deep twists will really help you. So soft, return to the center, place your fingers by your side, newfound length, strong posture. Reach across your body. Inhale, exhale and twist. I remember and commit to my personal power. And now you know how to release from this twist and knowledge is power. So before you let go, soften the muscles in your spine and then release. Sit tall, roll your shoulders up and back. A long, deep exhale. <sighs> Now reach your fingers back behind you and unfold your legs. Place your feet out in front of you. Drop your knees over to the left. And now over to your right. Notice I'm lifting my hip off the ground for these twists. Over. And over. Exhale. Exhale. One more time to your left and we'll hold on this side. Let's press up to a tabletop and I'd like you to use your towel to pad your knees. So placing your towel underneath your knees will just help keep us a little bit more comfortable. Fold your toes under and then press up to a kneeling posture. Engage the muscles of your seat to press your hips slightly forward. And now let's make big circles with our arms up and back. And you might notice that your right and left sides are a little bit imbalanced or unbalanced, and that's okay. Just observe the difference between your right and left side. And now let's take single arms so you give each one of your shoulders a little bit more attention. And you can twist open a little bit deeper this way as well. Last time. Now place both hands on the floor and create a tabletop, so a lengthened spine with your abdominals engaged. And now we'll create little circles through our wrists and massaging your knees. Take the circles in one direction. And when you're ready, you can reverse your circles. Now come into the center. Bring your right fingertips to the back of your head and twist your torso open. And then bring your right elbow to your left elbow and close. Twist open and close. We'll do this one more time. And now we'll thread the needle. So you'll feed your arm underneath the other arm with your palm open. And then rest down on your shoulder Take a deep breath in and a long exhale. <sighs> Unfold from this twist and press yourself back up. Extend your right arm out in front of you and extend your left leg behind you. Establish your balance first and then lift your arm up and lift your leg up. This is called bird dog and it's a balancing pose so do your best to stay steady and in control if you need to take a rest you can lower down and touch the mat at any time and now relax back down again 
Slide your hand in and slide your knee in. And come back up to your kneeling posture. Bring your hands, I'm gonna to turn towards you so that you can see me. Bring your hands out in front of you and then fold your wrists so that your palms are facing your body. And you'll roll your wrists in and around. This is called rolling through your bracelets. And then you can reverse your circles. Do your best to keep your arms long and extended in front of you. Okay. Relax your arms down. And let's return to your tabletop. Be sure that your toes are folded underneath you. And now exhale, engage your abdominals, hover your knees off the ground, lift your hips and press to downward facing dog. Allow your head to hang heavy. Bend one knee and then bend the other knee. Pedaling from side to side. Both heels up and then both heels closer to the mat. Maybe your knees are bent or maybe they're straight. Please lift your left foot off the ground and then look forward. Take a giant step forward to a low lunge. And you can take some micro adjustments, anything that you need to get into place. When you're ready, you'll place your knee onto the floor, onto your mat, and then fold your front leg for modified pigeon. The front of your knee points towards the front of your mat. This is a wonderful stretch to help open up your hips and stretch the upper part of your thigh. You might be familiar with the exercise called the sleeping pigeon, which is lowering down towards the ground. And if you prefer that version of the exercise, you're welcome you're welcome to be in that posture. You might prefer to rest your head on your hands or on a block. I prefer the upright version of this posture. If you've lowered down, please come back up again and now fold your back leg. So now we have two bent knees. Place your left hand on the ground, reach up and stretch to your left. And then big cartwheel arms, just like the beginning of class, stretch over to your right. You'll notice that now in this posture, we can't reach as far. Stretch to one side and to the other side. You've got two more. And now sweep both arms down. Extend your right leg out to the side. I'm gonna move this towel out of the way. So now our right leg is long. I'd like you to flex your right ankle. And now bring your left hand to the back of your head and enjoy another deep side stretch. I remember and commit to my personal power. Lift your torso upright. Place your hand down. We'll take both feet out in front of us again and return to the side to side can can exercise. 
Now that we're a little bit deeper into class, you might find that you can move a bit deeper into this posture. This time, we'll hold our knees to the right side of the room. Before we move, let's take our block and our towel with us as well. Ready to join me? Come on to your hands and your knees. Fold your toes once again, and I'd like you to rock your tailbone under and then lift it back up. Rock under, lift up. So now you should be feeling a very gentle lower back stretch. Come to the center and find a lengthened spine. Bring your left fingers back behind your head and twist open to the left and now elbow to elbow close. Let's do that again. Open wide, elbow to elbow close. Last time. This time, thread the needle. Open your hand, palm wide open, feed your arm through and lower down. You should be resting on your shoulder. A deep breath in, a long exhale. Press your body back up. And now you'll reach forward with your left hand and backwards with your right leg. Lift your arm and your leg up and hold. Just find your stillness. If you begin to wobble too much, you can lower back down, regather your composure, and then come back up again. Inhale deeply. Exhale. Lower your arm and your leg down. Walk back up to your kneeling position. Roll through your bracelets. And roll the opposite way. This time, interlace your fingers like this and press your hand wide open. You might hear your knuckles crack. Return to the center, place your hands down onto the floor, find your tabletop, fold your toes, exhale, engage your abdominals and hover your knees off the floor. Downward facing dog, lift your hips and press back. In this position as we hang upside down, it's normal to feel a little bit uncomfortable. Just exhale deeply. I remember and commit to my personal power. I can do uncomfortable things and do them well. Bend both knees and see how it feels as you lift your hips a little bit higher and move towards straighter legs. You can soften both knees if you'd like. Lift your right foot off the floor, eyes forward. Take a giant step forward onto your mat for a low lunge and take any micro adjustments that you need to feel more comfortable. Lower your back knee to the floor and now slide your front leg to move into pigeon pose. So your right foot will be very close to your hip crease and you'll start to slide your leg and your hips back and lengthen your spine.
And just like before, if you prefer to lower down, then you can. It's a very relaxing position. If you've lowered down, please raise your torso up again. Come back to me. And let's turn towards the front with one leg extended. Take your block back behind you if you'd like. This might help you feel a little bit more comfortable. Your right fingers back behind your head and lean towards the left side of the room. I'd like you to flex your foot hard and that will give you a little bit more of a hamstring stretch. A deep breath in and a long exhale. Rise back up again. Fold your leg and place it out in front of you. Third round of Can Can. Actually, I'm going to place my block in front here. Third round. So tip your knees to the side. I really hope you're feeling a little bit more fluid in this posture now. We typically come into class a little bit tight and stiff, and then by the end of class, we're able to move through some postures so much more easily. That's where we regain our personal power. Both knees to the left, please. I'd like you to roll onto your knees again, and this time, you'll step your left foot forward to a low lunge. We'll only be here for one moment, one minute. You can fold your back foot. Please bring your hands to your heart. And now twist a few times towards me and towards your back leg. Come back to the center. Place your hands on your thigh. Push your body up and pivot your back foot. We have a nice low lunge here. Bring your hands to your heart and now extend open. This is the warrior two. Place your front hand on your front thigh and reach all the way out to extended side angle. Hopefully you're feeling lots of mobility here because we've prepared you so much in the beginning of class for this posture. So let's move from warrior two to extended side angle, warrior two, extended side, warrior two, and hold. Now here's a big stretch. Place your back hand on your back thigh, reach up the peaceful warrior. Now that we've done so much side body movement, you should be able to reach high towards the ceiling from your fingertip down to your hip. See if you can just stretch another millimeter and then return to the warrior two. Point all 10 toes towards me, please. Bend your knees, bring your hands to your thighs, hinge forward. Bring the block down in front of you and then straighten both legs and bend both legs. Lengthen and soften. One more time, lengthen and soften. Now, I'd like you to step your hands away from the block and release your head down to the floor. Take a deep breath in, a long exhale, and you might pick your hands up and wrap them around your head. And give yourself a gentle sway from side to side. This is a nice decompression for your spine.
rock into the center. Lower your hands down. Bring your hands to your thighs. Lengthen your spine and hinge your body up, up, up. Come to standing. Place your hands on your hips. Take your time. If you feel lightheaded, you can bend your knees and hold down here. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Lift your right toes up. Pivot your foot towards the right side of the room. Bring your hands to your heart and then open up to the warrior two. Place your right hand on your right thigh. Extended side angle. Warrior two. Extended side. Warrior two. Extended side. Warrior two and hold. Here's the big stretch. Back hand, back thigh. Reach up, peaceful warrior. <sighs> Stretch an extra millimeter from your fingertip all the way down to your hip. Find a gentle sparkle behind your eyes. I remember and commit to my personal power. Return to the warrior two, please. Bring your hands to Namaskar. Lift and pivot your back foot and now lower down to the ground. Nice low lunge. Hands come back to your heart. You can add a twist and a twist just like we did on the other side. This gentle twisting will challenge your balance a little bit but you'll also feel some nice mobile movement mobility in your torso. Now we'll reach down to the floor. You can fold your leg and sit side saddle. Take a moment. Now let's slide down to our side and lay onto our back. Reach towards your heels. Inhale deeply. And as you exhale, lift your hips. Engage your seat. Feel your hip flexors begin to open up. I remember and commit to my personal power. Please lower your hips back down to the mat. Draw your knees into your chest. And now reach towards your ankles. I'd like you to draw your ankles down so you're bringing your knees towards your armpits. If you feel comfortable here, you can hook your big toes if you like. So this is called the happy baby posture. You can envision how happy a small infant is when they open their eyes first thing in the morning. Without a trouble in the world, happy, happy baby. And when you remember and commit to your personal power, all your troubles should disappear because you're in control of your life. We might not be able to control everything that's going on in our lives, but our true power is in our ability to control our responses and our emotions. Please release your fingers, and lower your feet down to the ground. So staying light, easy, flexible, mobile, breathing deeply, that's where we establish our personal power. 
Let's slide our legs out. So here we are in our final yogic posture for this class today, our Shavasana. And in this resting pose, this is where we allow all of the subtle changes to integrate into our body, our breath work, our stretching, our strengthening. So I encourage you to please stay here in this posture for three to five minutes, even after the video ends. Just relax. Allow your shoulders and your hips to melt into your mat. Inhale deeply. As you exhale, open your hands wide. Allow your toes to drop out. So comfortable. I remember and commit to my personal power. It was an honor and privilege to be your guide today and I hope you had a good experience with me. I look forward to guiding you again next time. Namaste.